Hey there everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a quick get ready with me I'm unraveling my mini twist, doing simple type of makeup and I'm giving you a hair update so yeah, let's get into this so I'm starting with hydrating myself apparently my face is washed with my skin cleanser and I'm gonna do multi masks so the first mask that I'm using is from Kiehl's it's pore minimizing and all the products that I mentioned will be in the description box my second mask is actually a sleeping mask from the body shop but I'm just gonna let this sink into my skin for like 15 minutes as I do with all the masks that I'll be wearing and this gives my skin an amazing amazing glow and it helps your skin to look bouncy and youthful and then you just massage it in you know I know you guys like a bit of skincare so I decided to show it to you guys and there was music so yeah you can expect some dancing in this video but like I said I massage it in and then I'm using an eye cream my eye cream is also from the body shop it's from oils of life and I'm gonna use it as a mask so I'm adding more than I would normally do and I let it sit on my eyes for like five minutes while this sinks in I'm gonna do my edges really quickly I'm using my curl control paste I think that's the name it'll be in the description box and I love this because it doesn't really hold my hair but it nourishes it so I'm gonna tie it up while I do the rest of my makeup there I go dancing letting the mask dry and sink in and then I'm gonna take it off using a warm wet towel I don't really rinse it off I wipe it off serum time I use this serum to even my skin tone it's from the body shop as well to moisturize to get a great skin texture I love it I tap it in yes I press it into my skin Ooh, and then I use La Mer I use a La Mer cream people I don't have money for the real big size but this lady at a department store gave me a mini so I use it, use it as she told me I warm it up on my fingers I press it into my skin and then I rub it on and then I press it again I use pure argan oil to kind of seal all of that goodness in I use like two drops and then I really, really work that into my skin and my neck. Yes, I love Argan Oil. It's so expensive, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I use sunscreen every day of my life. I'm especially putting, putting it on a places where I have dark marks and dark spots. Primer time, I use multiple primers. On the parts where I have large pores, I use this Benefit primer that's supposed to blur your skin. And on the rest of my face, I use this Too Faced primer. It is moisturizing and it smells really good. Yeah, I like this primer. So like I said, I have this kind of grayish beard around my mouth. I don't like it in the summertime it's really bad so I'm using an orange corrector I might have well, I might as well not have done this because it didn't really help but yeah I'm working it in oh yeah I forgot some lip balm so yeah let's use some lip balm as well we don't want ashy lips in 2018 huh summer 2018 our lips need to be looking right Oh wow, wow, I was really going at it. Okay, so moving on to the brows, I actually have a different way of doing my brows now. I'm super proud. See this eyeshadow? You're gonna see it more often. It's from Essence called Brownylicious. And what I do to my eyebrows, I fill in the line at the top and the bottom of my eyebrows, but I don't fill them in all the way. No, I use mascara. I know, right? And I use my mascara as a brow gel because I'm too cheap to buy, buy a brow gel. And then I use that for a hair-like effect. 
I love it, man. I'm going around with concealer and uh, yeah, I blend the concealer out. I'm so proud of myself because I feel like it looks really good. Oh yeah, and the mascara that I'm using is the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. I love it. Okay. So on to foundation, I'm still using that BB cream from Primark. It's really good for me in the summertime. As you can see, I put a lot around my mouth. It didn't help the grayness, no it didn't. But I'm blending it out with a beauty blender, blending my neck. Yes, you see me putting more around my mouth. It didn't help. So if anybody has tips about that, it would be very much appreciated. So foundation is blended. I'm going in with concealer. I'm using the ColourPop concealer in uh, Tan 50. I don't know what the new name is, but I love this concealer. I really do. Um, I don't put too much. I blend it out with a beauty blender and I make sure I blend it well so that there are no harsh lines. To make sure that there are no harsh lines, I go around the edge of my concealer with my foundation uh, sponge again. You see? I'm blending it. We gotta dance some more, of course. We go in with powder, Sasha Buttercup, boop. And that, that's all I do with the powder. I tap it off on my lid, on my arm, and then I go into my face. I don't want too much powder because I don't want any trouble, okay? I lightly set my under eye, set my forehead, yes. And then I set my smile lines and the rest of my face with a Primark powder that I'm not really crazy about, to be honest, but I haven't bought another powder yet. I don't want to spend the money. So I'm going in with that eyeshadow one more time, and I'm using it to contour my jawline, the cheekbones, forehead, and the nose. This eyeshadow is a good color for me. Thank you to my friend Nagina for giving it to me. Okay, so I'm going in with my NARS cheek palette next and to be honest these colors they scare me man they they're so pigmented pigmented is that the word yeah they're so pigmented I, I couldn't deal so I put it it was too much I switched to my old favorite that's my Milani blush I don't even remember which color I used but that's much better man it's perfect I need to learn to work that NARS palette but I did use their highlighter though. Their highlighter is bomb. It just sinks into your skin. It's so amazing. Okay, so I tight line my eyes, nothing special. And I put that same mascara, Bad Girl Bang. It is amazing by Benefit. You owe it to yourself to try it, okay? It's amazing. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm doing something crazy with my lips. I'm using a black eyeliner because I haven't found a really good dark affordable little lip liner yet i look crazy but i'm gonna blend it out and then i go in with ruby woo by mac and i make it work don't worry i'm not gonna look crazy so that's the lips i spray everything with some mac fix plus you know let it sink in i fan it you know put that in speed yeah and then when i do that looking all glowy Oh, the makeup looking all glowy. I don't know why I looked like I had an attitude, but hey. That was the makeup. Now it's on to the hair. Like I said, I got some mini twist. I'm going to unravel it for a mini twist out. I add a main choice growth oil. And with that, I'm going to unravel the twist. You've seen me do this like on Instagram a lot. Here, I've already told you. If you do your twist the right way, you can do it in one swoop. And in the clip you saw me uh, take my time because it snags sometimes and you don't want to break your hair. So just be real careful, you know? Yeah. So I'm unraveling the twist and that's basically all I'm doing. I'm going to speed it up, but take your time with it. Very, very basic. So now that my twists are done, I'm picking out my hair for volume and I'm playing around with it. Um, if I want to part, how do I want to part my hair? I was kind of going for a wild and free look, so I didn't really part it. I just played with it a lot. And this is what I ended up with. So now for the hair update. Yeah. 
yes so hey i just wanted to give you guys a hair update really quickly y'all know i was suffering from protein overload i have recovered from protein overload so that's really cool slowly but surely i am reintroducing certain products into my routine that have protein slowly but surely though so i've also decided to focus more on two aspects when it comes to my hair journey um hair growth the beginning of my hair journey of my natural hair journey i focused a lot on hair growth and for the last few years i've kind of you know i didn't really care but now i really want to grow my hair back to the length that it was and longer i'm thinking waist length so you can expect videos on that on longer hair um, I'm also focusing on training my hair there's been a lot of talk on YouTube lately about training your hair training it to clump and curl training it to be more hydrated so I'm gonna take a spin at that so um, I'll keep you posted on videos about that let me know if you have questions or tips leave them down below oh yeah another thing that uh, is a hair update I bought a hair filter um, because my water was not the best quality the water that I was washing my hair with I bought a hair filter it's supposed to come today I will keep you updated and let me know if you have a water filter for your hair and if you've noticed any difference I recently bought one and I'm excited to see I bought one a few years ago I did see a difference but I was lazy so I didn't buy it again um, so I know it's gonna work about the 10k giveaway i haven't forgot about you guys um i am actually gonna do it for the u.s sending something to the u.s and customs and stuff like that i kind of want to avoid that so i might just give away a gift card maybe to target let me know what you think about that because the second option is that i do send the package i can make it a little bit more personal um it'll have hair products but maybe something from holland as well maybe hair products from holland or something from uh, Suriname. I can make it a little bit Dutch Surinamese edition. So that would be more personal, but customs and stuff like that. And the cost of sending it to Holland, I mean to the US. So if you have a preference of what you would want, I would say um, in the iCard, I will place a poll and then you can vote uh, for which option you like. And if y'all don't have a preference, I'll probably choose one. Have a wonderful day, you wonderful human being. If you are new to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. If you are really loyal, like really gangster, you become part of the notification squad and you're gonna ring that little bell, ring a ling ling ling, and uh, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I see y'all coming through with the early squad, and when I upload a new video, you'll be the first comment, first like. I see you, boo, and it's like. Thank you. I'm so super grateful about your excitement. And since we're growing here on YouTube, I would love to be able for us to keep in touch on Instagram. So I'm going to put my Instagram handle here. Find me on Instagram. Let's be a family in Instagram as well. Yes. So have a wonderful day. You don't have to wait till the next video because my mama raised me right. Okay. I, I'm not an abandoner. So yeah, you can, you know, Watch the next video here. Yes, yes, yes. Just watch it here and I'll see you next week when I upload again. Yeah? Have a wonderful day. You're a wonderful human being. Bye.